I hope the screen is visible to everyone. Yeah. So the first question is, foliar plant pathogens are pigmented in nature and cause crop losses in major staple crops. So here, A, B, C is the right answer because you all know that A, C, A, D, A, D, E is the right answer because always the pigments will help them for tolerating the high radiation and uh, they move from one plant to another plant with the help of wind and uh, these of the foliar pathogens, for example, powdery mildew pathogens, they actually cause the polycyclic. That means uh, within a season, they complete many cycles. We call it as polycyclic. That's why ADE is the right answer. Whereas if we come for second question, which disease has created interest in cause and control of the plant disease? That is late blight of potato. You all know because uh, it is a historically important disease which has led to the death of millions of people. That's why third one is the right answer. Whereas in case of statement here, many viral diseases are transmitted by insect vectors. Whereas in case of statement two, only few insects will transmit the bacterial disease. So both are true. Coming to the match the following, here there are techniques with respect to the pathogens. You all know baiting we do for fungi, whereas ooze, as the bacteria itself produces the ooze, it is for bacteria. Elisa is for virus and Behrman fennel, you all know it is for nematodes, that's why option two. And you all know gene for gene is for host and a biotroph. Yeah, here is a question on uh, certain pathogens which don't live at the site of infection because they only transfer the virulent factor and they start uh, attracted by the resistant host because of the chemical signals. And uh, some, some of the time, uh, for example, fusarium, which live in the roots or rhizosphere region of the soil. That's why A, B, C or fourth option is the right option. Now, as the name itself says, antibiotics means against. They prevent the growth and development. That's why option Three is the right answer. Now, very important, phytoalexy. Ricetin is produced by potato. Yeah, here is the next question. Please let me know the answer. Given below are two statements. Statement one, let me read it. Leaf curl is the symptom of viral disease. Whereas statement two says that fungi can also cause the leaf curl symptom. You have to say whether this is right or Please let me know the answer in the chat box. If you have any doubts, I'm very happy to answer. Okay. Why antibiotics don't have? See, antibiotics means they prevent the growth and development. That means... Uh, Imagine that already uh, there is an establishment of disease in a plant, okay? And once you start applying these antibiotics, however, there will be some amount of inoculum in the plant. So once you start applying the antibiotics, they will reduce its growth and development, we can say. That means it can uh, stop the further multiplication or its uh, growth, we can say. So that means if you are inhibiting the inoculum's growth and development, you are indirectly reducing the disease. You can't completely eradicate. You can't completely, what you say, you can't completely control or manage a disease. You can only, so you can, you cannot control a disease, you can only manage a disease up to a certain extent. Because a small amount of inoculum will be there. You can only stop further growth and development of the pathogen. You can't control any disease. You can manage a disease. Because the role of the antibiotic is to stop the spread. At least you have to save the plant. You have to stop the further spread or growth and development of the plant. Yeah. Both are true. Yes, I can say the example. See, the right answer is both are true because fungi can also cause the leaf curl. As I said, very important disease that is peach leaf curl, which is caused by Tafrina deformis. 
So this is a disease which is caused by fungi. That's why statement two is also right. I hope it is clear now. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me move to the next question. Again, there are two statements. Statement one. Spatial and temporal transmission of plant pathogens are in general guided by asexual and sexual spores. Whereas statement two says that bacterial pathogens produce asexual cells. Now you have to say whether these statements are true or false. It's okay. There are answers. Let me read it. Yes, as per the textbooks, there are only there is only one disease that that is uh, peach leaf curl, yeah, which is caused by Tafferina diponis. See what is spatial and temporal transmission? Spatial means from one field. For example, this is a A field and this is a B field through the space or from A field to B field, if it is transmitting, that is spatial transmission. Temporal means at different times. Okay. At different times, it is transmitting. So, here they are telling that both are because of the asexual and sexual spore. Whereas, second statement means bacterial pathogen will produce the asexual cells. So, now you have to say whether this is true or false. Yes, it is true. These spatial and temporal are guided by asexual and sometimes the sexual spores also. And bacteria can also produce the asexual cells. Okay, next is the naked ASI concept. Naked ASI can be observed in which of these ascomycetes fungi? You have to say here there are four options that is ASI FA, Claviceps, Tefrina, and Unsimilar. Now, let me know the answer for this. Where you can notice the naked ASI? Option 3. That is, in case of Tafrina, you can notice the open ASI or naked ASI. Tafrina. Just now I said peach leaf curl is a uh, by Tafrina deformis. So, in this Tafrinomycetes only, you notice the naked ASI. Now, let me go to the match the following again. See, here, in the left section, there are causal organisms and in the right section, there is a mode of entry of the pathogen. Now, you have to say, how does Magnoporte enter or how does the Xanthomonas enter into the plant system? Match it and let me know the answer in the chat box. Very good. Option 1 is the right answer. So, this Magnoporte orise is by direct penetration. Whereas, Puxenia, what does it cause? Black stem, rust of wheat. So, this moves through the stomata. Xanthomonas, just now I told, Xanthomonas is a bacteria. It mainly goes through the hydrothos. Whereas, Agrobacterium tumefaciens, it produces crown gall. So, this actually goes through the wound. That's why option 1 is the right answer. Okay. 
figure of so, 63. Uh, can you just say the uh, here for me the question 63 is not there. Can you just say the concept? That means question 63 means which which is the question? Oh, okay, naked SI. Naked SI is seen in uh, Tefrina. Other options means uh, one second. What happens in case of erysiphe, claviceps, and uncellula? So that that's the question I think. Okay, okay. Uh, this I'll be answering you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. What happens in case of Okay, now let me move on to the next question. Yeah. Which of the following listed items do not come under the National Plant Production Organization under the International Convention? See, there is an organization called uh, National Plant Protection Organization. They have certain duties and rules to do. So, here they are asking you, what are the duties which are not performed by this NPPO? So now, there are five options. Survival and inspection, controlling the pests, conducting pest risk analysis, conservation and regeneration of plant genetic resources, multiplication of plant genetic resources. Now you have to say, what are the things which are not done by NPP? Okay, let me explain. NPPO is not involved in conservation and multiplication. Okay, it is only involved in survivalence and inspection and uh, controlling the pests by administrative treatments, preventing spread, disinfection, and conduction of pest risk analysis. So, D, E or fourth option is the right answer. I hope it is clear now. Okay. So, which are the bacterial diseases which are transmitted by Insects, I'll be answering this tomorrow. Yeah. Option four is the right answer. D, E. That means they don't do conservation and multiplication. Okay. Now, here there is another question. Dithiocarbamate, oxathin, acylalanine, organophosphate. So, these are the chemicals. Here, there are trade names. Now, please match the chemicals with the trade names. Yeah, option, you see, yes, very good. Option four is the right answer. Dithiocarbamate, mancozeb we say. Oxathin is carboxyl. Acyl alanin is metalaxyl. Whereas organophosphate is phosphatide aluminum. So option four is the right answer. Now let me move to the Next, match the following. Here, there is certain mechanisms in the, or organisms in the left side, where a specific activity performed by that organism in the right side. Now, please let me know the match here. See here, I can give you a very easy hint here. You must catch the hint. Symbiosum. There is a direct connection in the activity section. So, like that, you have to start connecting the easy things, then everything will fall in place. 
okay i think i'm getting the answers yeah option 2 is the right answer very good so mycorrhiza you all know it is very much required for the pea fixation or phosphorus nutrition symbiosis just now i said it is symbiotic nitrogen fixation azospirulum is a very important autotrophic nitrification again the nitrozoomonas is involved in microaerophilic conditions that's why option 4 is the right answer next is the which is the virus which is transmitted by pollen does anyone know there there are four options that is tospo tobra prunus necrotic papaya ring spot very good option 3 that is prunus necrotic ring spot a uh, virus this is a virus uh, which actually causes disease to this necrotic ring spot to the apple cherry and even to the almond so this mainly infects the apple cherry and almond that is prunus necrotic ring spot virus this majorly transmitted by pollen okay now next question which of the following statements is not true for kosh postulate you must remember every year at least there will be one question from the kosh postulate that's why you must remember the kosh postulate so here there are five options a specific organism can always be found in association with the given disease the organism can be isolated from a diseased animal and grown in pure culture in the laboratory whereas third statement says that the pure culture will produce the disease when inoculated into a resistant animal whereas fourth one says that the pure culture will not produce the disease when inoculated into susceptible animal and the last option says that it is possible to recover the organism in pure culture from experimentally infected animal so you all know what is kosh postulate it must be there in every diseased animal and uh, it must be isolated subculture and when you transfer it to a healthy animal it must produce the disease so are you noticing any wrong statement here if so what it is yes very good option 1 that is c and d in c what they are telling the pure culture will produce the disease on resistant c kosh postulate there is no thing called resistant so c is wrong and uh, the d statement is saying that the pure culture will not produce the disease when inoculated into susceptible this is exactly opposite to kosh postulate that's why c d or option 1 is wrong now after kosh postulate again i'm going to two statements here the statement one says that in case of bacterial transformation a segment of naked dna from the surrounding passes through the cell wall and plasma membrane of a recipient cell whereas statement 2 says that only a few competent recipient bacterial cells can take up the dna from the surrounding now you have to say whether it is true or false yes very good both are true as you all know in case of bacterial transformation the naked dna will be taken by the competent recipient bacterial cell that's why both are true okay now let me go to the you know now let me go to the next statement i hope the screen is visible to everyone and uh, my voice is audible hello hello how are this man yeah okay question of virus transmitted in pollen there is a question here let me go back to that particular question one second
Tospo, Tobra, and Papaya Ring Spot. Uh, so this I'll be answering tomorrow. Whereas Prunus is through the Yeah, okay. Now let me go to the match the following. Thank you. Yeah, see here there is a match the following here. In the list one, you are noticing the causal organism, whereas in the list two, you are noticing the symptoms produced by the causal organism. Now you have to say which organism causes which symptom. Yeah, very good. Option one. Xanthomonas causes spot. Pectobacterium. You all know in case of carrot, it causes rot. Pantoya stiverti, which causes wilt in case of corn. Whereas agrobacterium tumefaciens causes tumor. That's why option one is the right answer. Now, let me go to the next question. Cell wall of archibacteria doesn't contain... Now you have to say this. What is the factor that is lacked by Archie? No, not three. Yes, very good. Four, peptidoglycans. Archie doesn't have peptidoglycans. Now, there is another question that is matched the following here. See, in the list, there is the cell membranes or uh, components of the cell, you can say. Whereas in the list two, there are organisms. Now, you have to match the components with the organisms. Chitin, where it will be there? You must know it. Pseudomurin. Very good. Option 4 is the right answer. Very good. Option 4. Uh, see here. Chitin in case of fungi. Pseudo murin in case of archie. That means pseudo means false. Yeah. O antigens in case of gram negative bacteria. T coic acid in case of gram positive bacteria. That's why option 4 is the right answer. Yeah. Now, let me go to the another match the following here. See, in the list 1, there are diseases. Whereas in the list 2, there are causal organisms. Please match list 1 with list 2 and let me know the answer. White dress is caused by Yeah, let me check it. Yes, very good. Option two. White trust albigo candida. Yes, very good. Option two. White trust albigo candida. Black stem rust puxenia reticii. Whereas yellow rust puxenia striformis, you all know. And red rust is lastly cephalurus. Parasiticus. That means option 2 is the right answer. Here. Next. Which of the following vascular wilt is transmitted by beetles? You all know. Usually vascular wilt that is by fusarium. Yeah. Among these diseases which is transmitted by beetle they are asking.
okay let me answer it so here the vascular wilt which is transmitted by beetle is fungal wilt of date palm yeah or the option 4 is the answer for this so next a type of mutualistic relationship in which individual of one species lives in close association with the individual of other species is called as very easy question the name itself says mutualistic relationship so where do you find this yeah very good option one symbiosis you all know it is the association between two organisms where they both are mutually benefited yeah now let me go to the next question which one of the following species has an inflorescence of terminal digitate spikes of spikelet? What is the meaning of terminal digitate spike? Does anyone know? Okay, let me explain you. Terminal digitate means uh, in case of uh, some crops, there will be at the terminal end of the spike, the spikelets or the inflorescence will appear in a alternate fashion. That means at the terminal end, digitate means alternative arrangement of the spikes we say arising from a single point, we call it as digitate spikes. Let me give you a hint. In this crop, uh, usually five uh, spikelets will arise from the single spike. That's why it is called as, since five spikes are there, it is called as finger millet. Now you have to answer. Yes, very good. Second one. Or Elucine Horakana is the scientific name of finger millet. So here what happens is from the single point at the end of the uh, at the end of the spike we see. Yeah, very good, Ragi or finger millet. See here what happens is from the single terminal point there will be a rise of five different spikelets that too in the alternate fashion or we call it as digitate. That's why they call the inflorescence as terminal digitate spike. This is noticed in finger millet or elucine horakana. We call it as ragi. I hope you are clear now. Next is, which one of the following fungi is having peritheseal ascomas? That means uh, peritheseal, we call it as flask-shaped fruiting body. Where do you notice it? Whether ericyphae, uncinula, podospera or gibberella, you have to see. Flask shaped fruiting body, ascus, we say that, where the ascospores are produced in case of flask shaped peritheseia. Where do you notice it? Very good, Gibarella. Fourth one is the right answer. Yeah, now here there is a statement. Xanthomonas causes disease on fiber plant parts. There are statement 2 says that Xanthomonas can cause vascular wilt in rice. You have to say whether it is true or false. You are very good. Option 1 that is both are true. It can cause the disease on fiber plants also. And in case of rice, you can notice the wilt also. Now, here is a question. In which of the following disease, the symptom is spatially separated from the pathogen? So, where do you notice? Symptom is at one place and the pathogen will be at different place. Where do you notice it? Option 2, no, no. 
Oh, no, not option two. Yes, very good. Option one. In case of crown gall, I have said you, see here, what happens in case of crown gall is, here exactly, if the gall is at the middle of the plant, we say, exactly in and around the gall, you will never notice the agrobacterium because what is the mechanism there? It is the tDNA gene expression or because of the hormones we say or tDNA gene expression that is actually causing the tumors or the galls. You can never find the agrobacterium in and around the gall. It is actually spatially separated. That's why crown gall is the right answer. Next, here there are two statements. Statement one is, which is broom symptom is caused by phytoplasma. Whereas statement 2 says that even nutrient deficiency will also cause witches bloom in plants. Now you have to say whether this is true or false. Okay, here are your answers. Yeah, very good. Both are true. Yes, witches bloom, you all know it is stunted and the bushy in appearance. That we call it as witches bloom. It is because of the phytoplasma. Even the nutrient that is zinc deficiency will cause you the witches brew symptom. I hope it is clear now. Now coming to the next question. Polycyclic diseases are usually caused by pathogens adapted. So now we have to say this. We have discussed in the same question paper. Polycyclic, I have mentioned you. Very good. Option one, that is Foliar, just now I told, like powdery mildew, they are polycyclic in nature, they are foliar pathogens, pigmented. Yeah, option one is the right answer. Here there is a match the following. Now we have to answer this. In the list one, there are causal organisms and in the list two, there is spores produced by it. Now you have to say which spores are produced by which organisms. Three. Very good. Option 3 is the right answer. Fusarium. It produces thick wall terminal and intercalary phlemidospores. Whereas macrophobina phasiolina. Micro sclerotia or charcoal rot. It causes charcoal rot. Whereas bipolaris sorokiniana. It produces thick wall conidia. Whereas last is the ralstonia. It produces naked cells. That's why option 3 is the right answer. So this is about today's class. Uh, if you have any further doubts, you can ask me now. And I'm very happy to answer. So today's doubts will be handled tomorrow. Okay. I hope you understood the concepts here. Was it clear all the questions? Hello? Hello? Did everyone get all the questions? Spores and spore bearing structures. Okay. Spores and spores, spore bearing structures. Okay, let me tell you tomorrow. Yeah, any any other doubts? Was the concept is clear today? Polycythic. Okay. Uh, which which question is that? 
there is a question on polycyclic disease we i'll go back to it whether this is the question you are asking about polycyclic diseases are usually caused by foliar in soil rhizosphere and in fluid is this the question hello am i audible previous okay Uh, I think it's the first question. Whether it's the first question on uh, foliar plant pathogens pigmented? Are you asking about that? Since here the question number is on the one second. No. Okay. Let me check it. Last previous, okay. From the last, yeah. This this is the question, no? Polycyclic diseases are caused by whether this is the question. Okay. 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 This is the question. Polycyclic. See, usually polycyclic diseases are caused by majorly on the foliar plant parts. Now you are asking, what happens to the soil rhizosphere and fluid? Is this the question? Okay. 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 Yeah, let me tell it to, to you tomorrow. Uh, is there any other doubts regarding today's session? No, ma'am. Okay, okay. Thank you. Tomorrow I'll be uh, handling 2021 paper and I'll mm -hmm. be clarifying all these doubts. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone.